So there could be many reasons why you want to recover data or lost information on your phone. You drop your phone and the screen doesn't work, uh, your OS got corrupted for some reason, or you accidentally deleted some data. In any case, you want to recover data and this software called Alt Data for Android can come in handy. Now this video is sponsored by Tenorshare, the makers of Alt Data for Android, but I've personally tried this software and I'll demonstrate that in this video and it worked for me. Now stay till the very end of the video because I'm going to talk about some really important things that you must know before you purchase this software. So stay till the very end and let's get started. So you can pretty much recover anything, photos, videos, contacts, call logs, text, WhatsApp or WeChat messages, including their photos and videos. All you need is a PC or a laptop. It works for most Android phones that are running up to Android 10. And the best part is that if you have a Windows PC, you don't need to go through any complicated procedure like you know, rooting your Android phone. But unfortunately, if you're using a MacBook, you'll need to root your Android phone before you can use this software. But better to just have a Windows based computer and use this software. It works amazingly well. So let's start with the installation. Go to the link in the description and then click on free download. You'll get the setup software. Just go through that process and soon the app will get installed on your computer. Now you'll see all the options that are available, but to be able to use, you need to first register. And for that, you'll need a key, which you will get once you purchase this software. There's a 30% off discount coupon code in the description. So make sure you use that. Now, let me go ahead and demonstrate. So I've got a Vivo U20. I go into album and let's select, say, three pictures. And then I hit delete and I'll completely remove them from my album. Now, just to make sure, let me go into recently deleted and also remove it from here. So there is no trace, at least no visible trace of this on the phone because that's how we can actually test whether this software works or not. Now, make sure you connect your PC with a USB cable on your phone. You have to ensure that USB debugging is turned on. The software will take you through that process if required. And then turn your, your software on. It will detect your device and then it'll ask you, hey, what are the kind of things that you want to recover? For me, it's just photos, but you can do pretty much all of that. And then it'll just do its thing and it'll start scanning your phone for anything that's been deleted in the past and you'll see your remaining time on the right side. I would suggest that you wait uh, for that entire process to complete. Now, if you see the red color are the images that are deleted from your phone and the ones in white icons are the ones that are still on your phone. OK, so it gives you both. But once the scanning is complete, you can go in the drop down on the left and you can just look at deleted data. OK, and that way you only look at photos that were deleted in the past. And here are the photos that I just removed in front of you. So I just select them and that one on the top left. That's it. And then hit recover. It'll ask me, where do you want to recover this? And I'll just say create a folder on desktop and bam, those three photos are right here. So as you can see, it works. I was using a Vivo U20 and there was no issue in recovering the photos that I lost. Now, there are a few things that you must be aware of before you go ahead and purchase this software. Number one, this software works only with phones that are up to Android 10. It does not yet work for Android 11 devices. They're working on it is what I got to know from them. But as of now, all the way up to Android 10 only. Second, you must be able to get into USB debugging mode for this software to work. So when you're using the software, it kind of instructs you how to enable USB debugging. But if your screen's broken or your touch is not working, how would you do that? There are quite a few articles on Google that explain how to get that done. There's also a software called Reiboot by Tenorshare. I'm not sure how that works, uh, but that should help you with enabling USB debugging mode if you can't do it with traditional ways. So just keep in mind, you must be able to get into debugging mode for this to work. Third, make sure that your phone's model is fully supported by this software. They've got a couple of phones listed on their website. If it's not there, they still probably support it. It's best to write to them and ask them and explicitly state that you're looking to recover your photos or videos or music or messages and ask them if the software fully supports your phone's model. And if the answer is yes, you can proceed with the purchase. And I would highly recommend that you go through their refund policy if in case anything doesn't work out for you. It's just better to be safe, it's smarter. So definitely go through the refund policy. Make sure you're running nothing more than Android 10. Make sure your phone's listed or that you have an email from them stating that they fully support your phone's model. And 
you must have USB debugging enabled, okay? So these are four or five things that you must keep in mind before you purchase this software. All right, uh, that's it from me guys on how you can recover data from your Android phone. Thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. As always guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.